For starters, Wahoo Blue HR. Here is a brand new monitor that, oh, it's rolling away from us, but it straps on your chest when you run. Now, if that's not a new technology necessarily, but what makes it interesting is that normally when they have these kinds of gadgets, they make it just for the iPhone, just for a specific model. Now there's a new chip in here where any future smartphone coming out with a new type of Bluetooth chip yeah. will work with it so more people can buy devices for it. We also have a lot coming out that's strapped to your arm, so you keep it on. Here's one, the Skosh MyTrek. It looks kind of like a watch. It has music playing, and it talks in your ear as you're running, telling you, hey, you got halfway more to go, or hey, speed up. Speed up. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so it gives you that audible Slow guy coming up on your right. <laughs> and also, if you don't have a smartphone, because the, the past two I just said, you have to have your smartphone with yeah. you when you're running. That's so great if you're outside. If you don't have a smartphone, here is one. It's the Body Media Fit, and it's a little more expensive, but you keep it on around you all day. It's tracking every activity, whether you're picking up your kids or picking up the groceries, you plug it in your computer at night. Speaking of tracking every activity, sleep plays a role in all of this, yes. a healthy lifestyle yes. as well. And there are some gadgets now that can track yes. how well you're sleeping. Yeah, we're seeing some hybrids of your activity and your sleep, because sleep is part of health too. So if you don't want to wear some big strap all day, check out the Fitbit. Here's a little stick that you can stick in your pocket. It's a pedometer, but also at night you can slap it on your wrist and it'll tell you in the morning how many times you're waking up or how restless you are. If you want something a little more accurate, there's the Lark. The Lark here is also another thing you put on your wrist. And when you wake up in the morning, you go to your iPhone and there's a chart there saying how much you slept and different stages of sleep. Mm. And what I think is interesting is if you pay a little more, it kind of becomes this coach. It takes that data and sends you text messages throughout the day saying, you know what, Chris, it's 7 o'clock, you should probably start winding down. That's the interesting part. Oh, that's good. It, it's the fact that it's not just taking all this data into charts, because what are we going to do with charts? Yeah. It's actually calculated into something useful. Is it tough, though, to have like, this Bluetooth while you're sleeping? I mean, is it safe to have all this stuff? I know, you kind of think, like, should I have, like, all these, you know, electronics all over your body? I talked to the CEO of Lark. It's really only sending a message to your phone for about one minute a night. So check each device is different. This is only sampling, but for the most part, it's okay. How about gadgets that are targeting kids for rewards and things no, like that? I, mean, I know, it's, it's making uh, exercise a game more than just the outside.